In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Good day and you're very, very welcome as we gather on this Tuesday, the 26th of January. It's the feast of Saints Timothy and Titus. And Timothy and Titus were converted by to Christianity by Saint Paul and became his companions, he became his helpers. Paul entrusted Timothy with the care of the Christians in Ephesus and he sent Titus to Crete to look after the Christians there. He wrote to them so-called pastoral epistles, giving advice for pastors, leaders of the people, and for the people alike. As we offer this Mass this evening on the Feast of St. Timothy and Titus, we're offering this Mass for Francis Dooley of Roscannell, whose month's mind takes place at this time. And we remember her family too, as they miss her dearly. And for a few moments, as we prepare to celebrate our Mass, we ask the Lord's forgiveness for those times in our lives where we have failed. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who adorned Saints Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant through the intercession of them both that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. From Paul, appointed by God to be an apostle of Christ, Jesus, in his design to promise life in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, dear child of mine, wishing you grace, mercy, peace from God the Father and from Christ Jesus our Lord. Night and day I thank God, keeping my conscience dear and remembering my duty to him as my ancestor did. And always I remember you in my prayers. I remember your tears and long to see you again to complete my happiness. Then I am reminded of the sincere faith which you have. It came first to live in your grandmother, Dios, and your mother, Eunice. And I have no doubt that it is the same faith in you as well. That is why I am reminding you now to fan into a flame the gift that God gave you when I laid my hands on you. God's gift was not a gift of a spirit of timidity, but the spirit of power and love and self-control. So you are never to be ashamed of witnessing to the Lord or ashamed of me for being his prisoner. But with me bear the hardships for the sake of the good news, relying on the power of God who has saved us and called us to be holy. The word of the Lord. Our response is, proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Response, proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. 
O sing to the Lord, bless his name. Response. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim his help day by day, till among the nations his glory, and his wonders among all the peoples. Response. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Give the Lord, you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Response. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim to the nations God is King. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Response. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. The Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to visit. He said to them, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. Start off now, but remember, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Carry no purse, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever house you go into, let your first words be, peace to this house. And if a person of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on them. If not, it will come back to you. Stay in the same house, taking what food and drink that they have to offer, for the labourer deserves his wages. Do not move from house to house. Whenever you go into a town where they make you welcome, eat what is set before you. Cure those in it who are sick and say, The kingdom of God is very near to you. The Gospel of the Lord. And Father, like Timothy and Titus, who are sent to bring the good news to others, to Crete and to the Ephesians, may we, in our own little area, our home, our community, Bring your love and kindness and goodness to all we meet this day and throughout this week. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who have gone from our own land to bring your good news to other parts of the world. Proclaiming the good news, we pray your blessing upon all missionaries. Lord, hear us. Lord, we pray in a special way at this time, pandemic time, where lockdown is, and people who are suffering physically, mentally, and spiritually at this time, and economically, Lord, too, because of the coronavirus. We pray a rollout of the vaccine. We pray a blessing upon all our people. Keep them safe in your care. Bless them, strengthen them, and heal them. Lord, hear us. Remembering those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. And especially, Lord, this evening we remember Francis Dooley of Roscannell, whose month's mind we celebrate at this time. We offer this Mass for her. And we pray for our children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. We pray your blessing upon them, Lord, in their loss. Lord, hear us. And eternal rest grant unto Francis, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. And may her soul and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread which we offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine which we offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God of the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus, and in your kindness render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father Most Holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Dermot our Bishop, and all who are called to ministry in your church. Remember your servant Francis, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. 
Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face of mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confidence in a Father's love for us as children of the Father, we are privileged to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of this moment, our time together in prayer. And though, Lord, we cannot receive you sacramentally, we give ourselves to you, knowing that you give yourself to us. We pray that we would never be parted from you, but that we would do the Father's will and your will, Lord, each and every moment of every day. And we praise you with all the saints and all the angels in the heavenly kingdom. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Go into all of the world, proclaim the gospel. I am with you, Lord, always, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish us in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles. 
and kept safe by the labours of Saints Timothy and Titus. Through Christ in Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and keep you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is now ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord.